My game is lame and absurd, but just bet You need yeah. to sit back and absurd, right. absurd if I pimp so old. Oh, yes, he is. I mean, that boy, that's the shit. He's a mess, he is. Fresh to death. Ain't nobody fresh as he is. They can't compare. Go get next to him. Because he's so fly. I mean, the boy's so clean. Oh. From his white teeth. Hold down to those jeans. You see, you see the ice in the pinky. What's good? What's good, everybody? It's your man's Ken Jackson. Welcome back to the Ken Jackson Experience. I've been gone a while, as a lot of you may know. And today I'm going to be sharing my last month's experience with you all in pictures. Um, some of the pictures might be a little disturbing to some of y'all. So I apologize in advance. But uh, before, uh, before we get to that... Um, it's been a lot going on, huh? For not just for me, but for everybody, huh? These past few months, Trump got indicted, federal charges this time. And uh, I told y'all before that I, I believe that they were going to get him eventually, and uh, I I think he's going to do some jail time. Uh, it may not be a lot, but um, I think I think he's probably going to do probably five, ten years. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? I mean, I'm not convicting him before he's convicted, but we all know, you all know he's guilty as hell. And uh, so let's stop playing games. Uh, all my Republican friends out there uh, uh, supporting this guy, uh, defending him. For what? Why? Why are y'all defending Trump? There is nothing that he does, okay, uh, uh, that's worth defending, honestly. I mean, even when he was president, the criminal activity was rampant. It was out of control. Out of control. So anyway, um, hey, he's, he's indicted. He's going to trial. Wouldn't, wouldn't it? Now, explain something to me. Because I don't think it's true. All right. They're talking about uh, even if Trump was convicted and imprisoned, they're saying he could still hold the office of president while in jail. Does that make any goddamn sense to anybody out there? Or is it just me? I mean, think about it. A convicted felon can't vote, but a convicted and jailed felon can still hold office of president. Does that make sense? No, not to me, not at all. You know what, though? I'm going to research that, uh, and I'm going to come back to you all in a, at a later date um, uh, with that information. Um, because I, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. And why is, why is, uh, I mean, honestly, I think if uh, Trump just dropped out of the race, they'd probably leave him alone. That's my opinion. But who am I? I'm nobody. I'm just Ken Jackson down here in Fort Pierce, Florida. You know, I don't make any policies. My, my opinions don't even matter to anybody, I'm sure. Um, but guess what? Opinions are like assholes. Everybody has one. And they all stink. So, what's that tell you? But, uh, man, I feel good, everybody. Yo, you know something? Let me tell you something. I was talking to uh, someone uh, yesterday, uh, and they were basically feeling sorry for themselves, moping, talking about how fucked up their lives are. And while this person doesn't know that I just came out of the hospital just a couple of days ago, actually, um, had no idea of what my condition was or what I'd been going through for the last month and a half. And I didn't want to 
I didn't want to minimalize his pain and his perceived suffering. But I had, I had to let him know. I had to explain to him. I said, look, bro, whatever you're going through, there's somebody out here uh, who has it a lot worse. And that's something I realized for the week and a half I laid up in the hospital. I realized it didn't matter what my situation was. Somebody else was having a much harder day than I could ever imagine. Really. And I know a lot of you would say, hey, man, losing my toe, I don't know what could be worse. Well, a lot could be worse. Losing my foot, losing my leg, losing my life. It can always get worse. Believe that. But what got me through and what continues to get me through is a positive mental attitude. And there's a lot of people out here in the world going through depression and and all types of other mental uh, illnesses. And, and again, I don't want to minimize anybody's suffering, um, but listen, you have to maintain a positive attitude no matter what it is. Um, and and whatever, it, whatever it takes for you to get to a positive mental state, whether you pray or meditate, you know, or, or talk to a counselor or a psychologist or, or, or therapist or whatever you got to do, get yourself to a positive frame of mind. Get yourself to a, to a place where you can be optimistic about whatever it is that you're dealing with because it's going to make life so much more bearable. Not easier. It may not make your situation easier, but if you can stay positive, you know, and like maintain a, 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 a vibrant, optimistic attitude, it will definitely um, make your situation more bearable. I could have, I could have let myself get all depressed and down about, you know, my foot you know, and, and all that, but I didn't, I couldn't because I got so much that I want to do. So many, so many things I want to do in life still. And I've done a lot already. I've done a whole lot. And I've been very, very fortunate. I'm, my life has been good. And I mean that in all honesty, no matter, um, what I was dealing with in any particular time in life, um, my life has been great. I wouldn't change anything for the world. I honestly wouldn't. Um, because it's the things that I've gone through and the, and the situations that, I, that I've experienced um, that has made me the person I am today. And I think I'm a pretty good person. I'm not perfect. And uh, there are times when I can be uh, an asshole. I can be hard to deal with at times. But I'm never malicious. I'm never out to get anybody, uh, to hurt anybody, to cheat anybody, or anything like that. Um, because that's just not me. That's never been a part of my DNA. You know, so... Um, you know, like I said, I, I think I'm a pretty good guy, you know? And you know what they, you know, the good guys finish last, so they say. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm on top, you know? I, I, live, I live a simple life. I don't chase the bag because I don't have to. And none of us really have to. Um, that's something we choose to do, and I choose not to do that. I'm not chasing anything. I'm just living life. I'm going to enjoy every day that I have. And I know um, 
I don't have many left, you know, in the whole grand scheme of the universe. Um, life is short anyway. But I am comfortable in the fact in knowing that I'm on the downhill side of the mountain. Yeah, I do try to pump the brakes a little bit. I, I am trying to slow it down just a little bit, but I'm still living life, living life like there is no tomorrow because tomorrow's not guaranteed. And I'm not going to tell you what you should do other than you should live your life the way that you choose to. Plain and simple. Live your life the way that you choose is best for you. That's the only advice that I can give anybody because whatever works for me may not work for you. You know, I mean, if you want to, if you want to emulate what I've done, you can. So, you know, that's your choice. But at the end of the day, wherever you end up in life, it's because of decisions and choices that you've made to get there. And that's real. And if you can't be honest about that, then you you probably aren't honest about too many other things either. But anyway, oh, uh, I want to uh, I want to send some thoughts and prayers out. I know thoughts and prayers don't do shit, but however, uh, thoughts and prayers out to anybody that was involved in that I-95 collapse up there in Philadelphia today. That shit was crazy. Um, I was watching on the news earlier, man. I've been on that very piece of highway before. Many times I've driven across that stretch of highway. And, uh, you know, to to see something like that happen and, and, and then to, to understand it, you know what? I could have been traveling across that strip of highway today when that happened. Any of us could have. So you got to you you have to enjoy life because we never know what's going to happen to us. Nothing's guaranteed for us moving forward. So uh keep that in mind. Um anyway, let me get to it. I want to I want to tell you all about my last month and a half. As a lot of you may or may not know, okay, I got bit by a spider. And it was a brown recluse. And it was on April 16th, the night I got bit. And I knew I got bit because that shit hurt. It woke me up. And, uh, you know, I reached down, you know, initially to grab my foot because it was in so much pain. I wasn't, I, that shit hurt. And I have a high pain, I have a high tolerance for pain. But that, like I said, that shit hurt. So I reached down, grabbed my foot, turned on the light, and I looked at my foot, and this is what I saw. Immediately, immediately panic almost set in because I'm like, what the hell is going on with my foot? You follow what I'm saying? I was like, you got to be freaking kidding me. What just happened? And I saw the spider um, afterwards. Once I got my head together and I, and I said, you know what? You got to die. You know, so I gathered my thoughts. I killed him. I found him. I killed him. But it was too late. The damage was done. So, um, went to the emergency room and uh, sat there at the in the emergency room literally for three or four hours, waiting for them to do something. So they finally uh, lanced it you know, and treated it, uh, you know, with some antibiotics, uh, cream, they wrapped it up and everything. And then it was a few days later, I had to follow up uh, with uh, my doctors at the VA. Um, 
And when I followed up with the doctors at the VA, after the Lansing, this is what it looked like. Yeah, it's ugly, right? And and somebody said, man, Ken, don't share those pictures online. But I, I have to share this with you because there's, there's a lot. I never knew how bad spider bites could be. And I've heard of people getting bitten by these things, and I've heard the stories about what happens, but I, I'd never actually seen it, you know? I'd actually never seen, you know, the results of, of a spider bite. Brown recluse, that's what got me, if I didn't mention that before. So this is what it looked like a few days later after getting lanced. And as you can, you know, see it, it left, it, you know, the, the venom started to eat away my skin tissue. Um, and basically it was killing my toe. Um, so I, I, uh, I went in, um, I, I, I went into the doctor, um, and then uh, after this uh, particular um, visit, um, he told me, he said, uh, Ken, you're going to have to, you know, keep taking these antibiotics. I was taking oral antibiotics at, at the time. And, uh, you know, come back in a week, you know, let's, let's see what it looks like. Um, so I went back a week later. And um, it wasn't looking too good. So I ended up uh, having to see a vascular surgeon because they had some questions about um, circulation in my left leg. So I ended up going back to the doctor and then the doctor sent me to the hospital again. Immediately, I went into the ER, checked in, and got set up to have uh, an MRI of my leg. And then after the MRI, they decided they needed to do what's called an angioplasty, where basically um, they clean out your veins. They, they go in through your groin, which is crazy because they go in from the right side of my groin to get to my left leg uh, to clean out the veins and arteries, you know, the, the main veins and everything. Um, so I went in for angioplasty and come to find out I had zero circulation going from uh, my knee, from just below my knee to my foot. So they basically rebuilt um rebuilt my veins um, to restore circulation to my foot. And after a couple of days, it looked like that they were going to be able to save my toe. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, color started to come back. You know, the, the, the dead tissue, you know, was kind of falling off, you know. And, and so they were thinking, hey, Ken, you know, we might be able to save your toe. Um, and I was, you know, feeling all great. I'm thinking, okay, cool. You know, they can save it. And, uh, so it went in, um, and as you can see there, um, there's still a lot of dead tissue around my toe. So they said, you know what, uh, we're going to have to go in and we're going to have to, uh, clean up all that dead tissue and, uh, you know, cut it out, you know, and, and, put a graft on your toe so that we can promote healing. And that's what they did. So as you can see here, they, all the dead tissue was shaved away and they actually took my toenail off. Took it completely off. Doctor was like, it'll grow back. And, uh, you know, so uh, I was like, cool. I'm thinking everything's gravy. You know, everything's good. I'm going to have my toe back soon. Well, it wasn't going to be soon. It was probably going to take a few months, you know, for everything to heal right. Um, but then 
on the next follow up, the bad news hit. Had a bacterial infection. And because of the bacterial infection, they thought we might have to amputate. But we're going to do an MRI. We're going to go in and see how deep the infection is. Um, if it's not too deep, you know, they said, you know, maybe we can knock it out with intravenous uh, antibiotics. So I was on some heavy antibiotics in the hospital uh, for this third, this third and last visit that I was there. Um, and uh, it was crazy. It was crazy. Um, but after, I, I, was, I, I was there for two and a half days before they actually did the MRI. And then, uh, lo and behold, the uh, infection was pretty damn deep. So they said, we're going to have to, we're going to have to amputate your toe, Mr. Jackson. And I said, you know, literally looked at the doctor. I said, bro, do what you got to do, but get this infection out of me. You know what I'm saying? If I got to lose a toe, I got to lose a toe. A t losing a toe is better than losing a foot. You know, but my attitude was also losing a foot is also better than losing a leg. Excuse me. So basically, I was like, hey, take the toe. I said, as a matter of fact, take a little extra. Make sure you get all this shit out. You know, um, so that's what they did. And this is what I have now. Nothing. It's gone. Big toe out of there, nine toes down, and that's what life is moving forward. But you know what? It's not going to stop me from living. I'm not sad about it. I'm not depressed about it. I'm not upset in any way about it. Just got my lab results back today, actually. They delivered them online to me. And... All of the infection is clear. Uh, my blood was clear. Everything was good. Um, blood pressure is back to normal. Um, glucose is back to normal. Um, you know, so hey, you know, I'm, I'm happy. Happy, happy, happy. Because it could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot worse. I could have died. There was someone here in Florida recently, actually the same week um, that I was in the hospital for the second time, someone died from a spider bite down here in South Florida. So imagine what I'm thinking, you know, when I heard that news. Okay? The point I'm making is this. Again, I'm going back to the beginning of the show. You have to enjoy life every single day. Because it takes way too much energy to be stressed out, to be worried, to be down in the dumps about things that are beyond our control. You know, there was nothing I can do about what happened. I got bit. I dealt with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm still dealing with it. Um, and uh, that's just the way it is. But I, I can't let that knock me off my game. You know what I'm saying? But this last week while I was laid up, you know, I, and I'm, you know, you know, most people be thinking, oh, my God, I, I got to get out of here. I got bills to pay. I got this, that, that, you know, and I... I I didn't give a damn about none of that. I was just happy to be here. And every morning when I wake up, I'm just happy to be here. Believe me. But don't get me wrong. I know one day I'm not going to be here anymore. There's going to be that day that I don't wake up. That goes for all of us. There's nothing we can do to change that. None of us are going to live forever. So 
while you're here, what point does it make for yourself, um, um, for you to let yourself uh, become down in the dumps, depressed and upset about anything, really? And I understand everybody's brain doesn't function the same way. Um, everybody's thought patterns aren't the same as mine. I'm not telling you you got to be like me, but hopefully I can help you through my experience get to a point in your life where things just don't bother you as much. Hopefully I can help you get to a point where you just enjoy life while we have it, while you have it. Because uh, it takes too much energy not to. It really does. So keep in mind that no matter what you're going through, this too shall pass. Excuse me. Think about the last time you had something happen to you. You thought it was the end of the world, but you got past it. Think about every time you've hit a brick wall, you hit a bump in your life, and you're thinking, oh, this is it, I'm done, but you got past it. You can get past anything. You can get past anything except death. Because once, once you're dead, you're dead. We don't know what's on the other side. So, me personally, knowing that I'm eventually going to be on the other side, I'm going to enjoy every day the creator has given me here like it's my last. Believe that. I'm off the hamster wheel, y'all. I am done with the rat race. Enjoy your life. Everybody out there, be safe. If you caught me live, thank you. Catch the rebroadcast at my website, www.crazybabytv.com. Uh, you can watch this show, some of my older shows, which are probably just as non-exciting as this one, but that's okay. It's therapy for me, and maybe it can be therapy for you. And I'm not even a therapist, y'all. I'm just a regular guy out here trying to enjoy whatever it is I can enjoy and, and, and maybe I can bring a little happiness to somebody else. I'm your man's Ken Jackson. This has been the Ken Jackson Experience. I will see you on next Sunday. Um, next Sunday, uh, join in uh, for the live show. I'm going to be taking live calls. I want to talk to some of y'all. I want to see what y'all are thinking about, what y'all are experiencing, what you're going through. Hey, you know, let's talk, man. You know, maybe you just need a friend to talk to. That be me. All right? So until next Sunday, peace. Everybody, everybody, enjoy your life. I'm out.